Well, I just made an hour screen recording, and for some reason the microphone was not connected. It was a really fascinating video. I would have loved to have shown it to you. I titled it The World From Above, or something like that. This is an amazing showcase shared with me by a man named Brady. Thank you, Brady. And it's full of things. Obelisks, cathedrals, churches, a little of everything. And not only did we check out all of these amazing cathedrals, but we got to check out all the other surrounding parts of these cities all over the world. Well, I'll share what I've got. Thanks for being here, and welcome. A cathedral in Connecticut. I was comparing our cheap tech, as we can see here with this light pole, with this old world tech. And this video was just full of examples of this old world tech. And one of his folders was called the 80 meter club and focused on various buildings and cathedrals from the old world that were over 80 meters and we could also see that they were in alignment lending to the idea that they were all working in unison it looks like they're repairing it and they're probably struggling is what it looks like because we can see one part this one being original and i don't think they're going to pull it off similar to notre dame in paris and even the salt lake temple it's been under renovation for over five years now. No doubt, we struggle to replicate what seems to have been done in the exact same fashion, realm-wide. No problem, a hundred plus years ago. And here we see a cathedral in Spain, the Saint Iglesia, and really looking like a computer component. All of these did, and that's what I really loved about this showcase. We get to see everything from above, and then I took us down to ground level. And it was awe-inspiring, a real heart pounder. This was a museum. Down here, this was a museum. These massive buildings. And here, this was a church. This was fine to just be a church. And a lot of this, especially in Europe, but I'm sure it's the same everywhere, was similar to the island of Malta, where it's very clear in Malta that all of this is built from scratch, from the ground up. And here we're back in Ohio. There was a bunch of Ohio, a county courthouse. The county courthouses are really cool because everybody knows the Capitol buildings, but there's so many counties. There's sometimes up to 20 or 30 plus counties in every state. And their courthouses are just mind-blowing in these tiny little towns. And I love these tiny little towns. This was a great one in Ohio. And I really stressed this building here. How many stages of construction. All these windows, you can see the ghost of them. They've all been bricked in long ago. This baby's just been patched up. And then when the windows aren't patched up, they often just have a board a piece of wood in place of the window. I see a lot of that in Utah. A lot of the repurposed Mormon churches are bricked up. Big arched windows now bricked up. And here's a great example of a courthouse in 1887, Perry County, New Lexington, Ohio. And I was remarking the tech up here, very preserved and very ornate. And I don't know what the population is here, but I can tell you it's pretty small. And certainly was in 1887. I mean, this is just over the top and unnecessary and resembling anything in Europe that would be given a much older date. And here in Fayette County, Ohio, just a beauty. And a little piece of tech out in the front here, working in conjunction in the past. And really, I've discussed the idea of Tesla, whether he was legit or not, whether he just reverse engineered the old world. And I loved Tesla until I started looking at this old world with open eyes. And it was clear that they were simply the founders of this technology. 
and Tesla had simply reverse engineered it, or it is possible that he didn't even exist. His story is a classic story written by the same people that write all the stories. Now, he may have been an old world man, and the dates and details have been skewed, and maybe all of his research is from the old world, and I've thought this to be true with a lot of the old characters. Even some of our old presidents actually not belonging to our timeline. Many of the old books with profound wisdom found in them are indeed legit books and characters, just not from our time, from this time, from whoever was building things like this. And anyway, Tesla had such wireless technology in the early 1900s, and essentially this thing would have been gathering energy from the ether and working in unison with these lights, for example, sending them a charge where they would need a little help because they're down here, not reaching the height needed to gather the ethereal charge. And then, of course, we look around and zillions of bricks, and to this day, just a ghost town. And I would love to move to one of these ghost towns. And they're everywhere, absolutely everywhere. If you remember in a video years ago that I made, some of these towns in Europe, they were just selling houses for a dollar. And really what you'll see is everything is abandoned, everything for lease. And it's only a matter of time when the property value goes up like it has recently, then they just demolish them and build something new in its place. But here we see the Licking County Courthouse. Newark, Ohio. Just a mind blower. Unbelievable. Probably sitting on at least five acres. And though they have put a flag up here, sorry, we still see the tech. Super tech. Over the top tech. This is probably at least a gold plating. And I see a date of 1876 up here. So a hundred years after America becomes America. And forget about that. I mean, just 1876. Pre-power, pre-everything good. I mean, except for nature. According to our history. And this one was super cool. In the Netherlands, I believe? But anyway, I just love the tech on this one. I don't even want to try to pronounce this. The Nui Kirk? It doesn't matter. All these names are new names. And I don't think all these were cathedrals and whatever they have to say. But this is tech. This is super tech. And these look like the urns at the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. But now there's no tech on top of the urns. Not like this. This also reminds me of the Saint Basilica Cathedral. I think in Venice. And it has similar little balls and just crazy things coming off of the tech. Nothing religious. And this looks like anything modern. There is a super tower, and I'll look that up and stick it in. One of the biggest towers in the world that looks like this. Totally modern. I mean, in our face. And thank God, for whatever reason, some cities have preserved everything. This is an antenna probing into the ether. Here we can see a little closer. Here, the Cathedral of Santiago. And here we see a little urn, but it's missing the tech. Looking more like what we see in San Francisco. And there she is. Boom. I think they put a cross up there. And I had a little skit about what these two were talking about. Excuse me, do you have the time? There's a big clock on that tower. Oh, I can't see that high. But really cool. Let's move on. Here again, we looked at this one at the beginning of the video, but I just wanted to show and stress then and now how machine-like this is, how computer-like and factory-like this architecture has nothing to do with God and looking completely industrial and now turned into a cathedral. And in fact, they're trying to tell us the cathedral made with recycled materials. So that's what we get in the Google Facts. And you saw it a minute ago. There she is. So now we have the rest of the story. Made with recycled materials. Well, this is their cop-out here. They can't repair it. 
the thing is in ruins. And as I mentioned, they were going to have a hard time reconstructing this. And no doubt, this is the finished product. A failure. Just telling us it's built from recycled materials. That's it. How sad. Modern construction. Getting an F for this one. Just putting some concrete over the crumbling brick and walking away. And this was one of my favorites. And talk about seeing the circuit board from above. Here we can see a star fort down here. And when I drop the man down here in this little fountain area that we can see from above, we actually get this building that is several blocks, maybe like 10 blocks. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here she is. Just unbelievable. And we see these everywhere. We see them in every city. We might just get a building that looks like this. They'll just keep the square part and maybe demolish the rest of it. We don't often get to see the whole thing. And again, this is like 10 blocks worth of building. You saw it from above. This is just the outer or inner part of the ring surrounding this fountain that now actually seems to be less glorious than it may have been. I'm not sure. But we see ruins all around it here, a church. And what brought me here was simply this obelisk. So there's one folder titled obelisks. And here we can see from above. The obelisk is actually around the corner here, but in alignment with this fountain. And the fountain being part of the tech, 100% in absolute alignment and perfection. It's not like today where somebody just owns a little building or a little piece of land. No, whoever built all of this owned it all, and there probably was no ownership. So petty, the way we live today. So isolated from the bigger picture. Okay, so now we're gonna go real time. This is kind of where I ended. Let's zoom out and get a look at where we are. We are in Italy. As I mentioned in a past video, my ancestors left Spain due to persecution and went to Italy. My ancestors went to Venice. But here we are, and in fact I recall this ring as we see this ring here, I think it was Colm Gibney, and maybe others have touched on it, that showed star forts all along points. So this was like a mega hub. And no doubt, in this folder, we're guided by obelisks. However, there's stuff everywhere. Just absolutely mind-blowing, the way that somebody has laid all of this out. Working in absolute unison. And this is more impressive than anything. Than anything at all. This goes back to complex surveying. This is perhaps more difficult, especially in this time period, that we're told it was built. With the means, we are told, available to the people of this time. This is so difficult. Forget about building. Forget about procuring zillions of bricks, metal, concrete. Even before you get going, you have to lay it all out. There's no other way. You have to do this beforehand and ask any engineer what it would take to lay out these streets and prepare all of this in advance before you build. What kind of machinery? How many dump trucks and graders, backhoes, everything? Impossible. Just simply impossible. And I know from experience, as I've mentioned before, I surveyed my 18 acres. I helped the surveyor do it. It took us all day to do 18 acres. About a half a mile. And here, this is in ruins today. Just a mess for the hub of this area. Clearly this had a fountain and tech and everything has just been cheapened to accommodate selling off this realm. But like I said before, these were not individually owned at one point, and everybody came together and coordinated this crazy pattern. No. And everything that is super, super amazing and old world has no good explanation. And that was just off. That was just some little random neighborhood. 
and we see the same thing everywhere. Everywhere, every inch should not be possible until heavy equipment and modern machinery is realized. And it's the same in America in the mid 1800s. There's no excuse, but all this is even older. There's really no excuse out here. So let's look at this Colosseum here. What we would be told is a Colosseum. Nothing could be more ridiculous. Nothing could look more like a machine in ruins. Just the shell of it. This thing is like a magnetron. And they want to tell us that this has something to do with games? And maybe give us some ridiculous story so we don't question how it could possibly be built. Again, surveyed, excavated, but again, we see in alignment. So here is something in alignment with this piece of machinery. And I don't know what's going on here. This thing looks a little off. A church, a museum, and a library, of course. No, let's just drop the man down here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Here we go, here we go. All right, so just a hodgepodge of different stages. We have brick, concrete, some arch, same hand as all of the arches, and completely misunderstood. Even the arch. The arch has everything to do with the tech throughout this realm. It's not an afterthought. Again, all originally built in unison. No afterthoughts. And today, with the narratives we're given, everything is an afterthought and completely disconnected, different timelines and stories. And here something has been scraped out, a scraping, and the golf courses are essentially scrapings. And you can always tell with the golf course, there is a complex pattern that has essentially been erased. And here again, just the faintest outline of what is essentially buildings on an industrial scale cooling ponds and machinery and tech way too over the top and it's really a two-parter with this research i mean it starts out with you didn't build that you couldn't build that and part two becomes well what the hell is it and i think we have a pretty firm grasp in this community as to what it was it's tech this is like a computer chip. I mean, everything that a computer chip is today. And this is in ruins. And in fact, we see the footprint in every town and city across the realm. Everyone has these stadiums, sometimes an excessive amount of racetracks and stadiums. And sometimes we see them out in the Nevada desert or just the faintest outline. And what's happened in the Southwest Desert is everything is just mud flooded over, but yet we see the imprints, we see the lines, as I sometimes call them, and the most simplest and crudest of descriptions. But yeah, this is the circuit board. And here they've cleaned it up, and this is like a little World's Fair layout, or I can always tell from above if we're dealing with an old world layout. And here we see a little track, and they'll make as many tracks as they can. And eventually, they can't justify all the repurposements. Let's go to this one. So here we have a museum, and we have an obelisk right here. So here is the building, the museum. This could have been a courthouse in America, anything. When they don't know what to do with it, it becomes a museum. Just put a bunch of old shit in there and call it a museum, barely anyone will come. And here we see some urns with what looks like tech on it. Have they removed the tech? I'm not sure. Anyway, all part of it. This path is part of it, and it leads to this obelisk with very Egyptian-looking, I don't know, super cool. And everywhere. I mean, in Paris you have an obelisk, and we're told Napoleon took it out of Egypt, brought it to Paris. I don't think so. We see one in New York City as well. And perhaps Egyptian hieroglyphs are symbols for the machine. Hence why they're found realm-wide. So yeah, that was just some random little place. Let's look at another. The Pinchano Obelisk. 
Okay, and here we see the old world layout again, symmetry. And actually there's one here, and it looks like there's one here as well. Even though it says Fountain of the Lands, this is a really glorious obelisk. Lining up with this building, and this street, and this opening this way, and these beautiful cathedrals right here. Just perfect. And what was the purpose? Let's just drop the man down here, why don't we? Here we are. Massive cathedral, two domes, super old wall. So yeah, everything in conjunction here. Along the river. And you see, here's a great example. The Olympic Stadium. But yet we see it's in alignment with this obelisk. Not far away. There we go. The Mussolini obelisk, of course. And just everything super advanced over the absolute top. And I think they've repurposed a lot of this. I think this art is new on something old. And here, another stadium, which really seems to be like a cooling pond, used as part of this machine. This building would have been part of it, and now it's been designated something for the Olympics. There we go. But no doubt, here we follow it down, and this would have had some sort of water application, or tech. But I think I'll just leave it there for today. Just a little look at the world from above, and what it can reveal. Okay, I've got to drop the man down here for you guys, and for myself. I think this is where we were before. Unbelievable. What is this for? Anyway, I thank you for being here. I love you all, God bless, and I'll see you next week.